Next we're going to do a initial survey or secondary assessment for a victim who is conscious. Uh, again, like all the other uh, scenarios, we want to make sure uh, once we come to the scene, we want to make sure that it's safe. And in this case it is safe, so we are able to go up to the, to the victim. This is a conscious victim, so we want to make sure that um, you know, we kneel or sit beside them so that you can, are able to talk to them. Um, you know, if you may suspect a, a spinal injury or a neck injury, then you, when you ask them yes and no questions, make sure that they don't uh, nod their head or, or move, shake their head for yes and no. Just ask them to tell you yes or no for their answers. Another thing, since they're conscious, you may want to ask them uh, where most of their pain is. If it's in the ankle or knee, then you can spend more, more time on that area when you get to it. Uh, first, we're going to start at the, the head. Uh, and again, we can uh, look. We can look at the, the scalp. We can palpate the scalp to make sure that there's uh, no bleeding. Uh, or uh, deformities, we might feel some deformity or pain when we push push on the areas. Uh, we can also look for any uh, bleeding or cerebral spinal fluid from the the ears or the nose, rhinorrhea, or um, we can also look for uh, uh, look at the the spine, uh, the chin. We can palpate the, the chin, the cheeks, uh, the nose. Um, when we get down to the neck. We can, uh, again, palpate the, the cervical spine. Again, if we don't have any problems, uh, we can uh, do uh, shoulders individually. So we can palpate one shoulder. Again, palpating the bones and the mo muscles uh, over those areas. Um, we can also a ask him to uh, you know, move his fingers if he can. If he can move his fingers, okay. We can ask him if he can move his wrist and elbows if he's fine with that. If not, obviously he might be a little bit more serious. Um, from there, we want to again check the, the, uh, the ribs, the thorax area, uh, the abdomen. Um, again, palpating for any pain or discomfort or, or uh, deformities. Uh, we can also, when we get to the hips, we want to palpate uh, again for any uh, possible dislocation or fracture or a pain. Uh, when we get down into the thighs, again, we can do it individually. Uh, again, the muscle and the bone, want to palpate to the knee, um, the patella, patellar tendon, um, lower leg, and the, the foot. And again, we always want to do this uh, bilaterally on uh, both sides. Um, and if um, there doesn't seem to be any pain, and we can do a uh, you know, quick range of motion. We can ask them to uh, wiggle his toes. If that's fine, we can ask him to uh, bend his ankles in a plantar flex, dorsiflex, and again, if that's fine, uh, we can ask him to uh, bend his hips and knees, again, if we don't suspect any spinal injury. Um, if we think he's okay in this area, maybe one last thing, if make, sh make sure that they don't have any injury uh, or pain in the neck area, uh, we may want to uh, you know, definitely rule out any uh, cervical spine injury. Um, but if he's okay moving, he doesn't have any loss of sensation in these areas, uh, movements that we did with the upper extremities or lower extremities. Um, we may want to ask him to, uh, again, slowly raise his head up. And if that's fine, um, we can have him um, uh, go ahead and help, help sit him up into a sitting position. And again, make sure that he has his balance um, before we go to the next stage. Once, once he has his balance in this stage, uh, we, want, we can help him. Um, help him up to a standing position. Again, we want to make sure that he has his balance. If he has his balance, okay. then we can walk him out. And that's it for our initial uh, assessment.